we are now, after having talked about not buying a car because it's a ridiculous idea and everything else, and then working, and then Katie <laughs> texting me frequently the last couple of weeks about this one, we have now decided we are finding a car, so we're about to drive four and a half hours to Bristol to pick up a little 205, which is basically costing us whatever we can sell on eBay for just over 200 quid. And then hoping it's going to get through an MOT. And then <laughs> who knows what happens if it doesn't. If we're somehow going to have to try and find money to stay in Bristol <laughs> overnight. Uh, and then somehow KJ have to go back to work. And I'll have to figure out if I can stay to get any problems fixed that they can't get parts for until the Monday. Because it's Saturday now. So this is heading off to Bristol at whatever, 7 in the morning. Okay. We've got petrol, we're going. I've got too much beard because I haven't trimmed it. It's not supposed to be this much, but my beard trim is broken. So we're going to look. It's a 60,000 mile 1993 205. It's just for some reason we really like 205s. It's absolutely standard car. It's got nothing done to it, which is why we're hoping it's good. For some reason, the owner's done some repairs and then just decided they don't need it, so they've not renewed the MOT or anything. Um, so we're really hoping this means that the MOT is going to be fairly easy. I've got basically a set of screwdrivers in the car and that's about it. So hopefully we won't need those. Um, and we're just going to drive it away magically somehow. Um, yeah, also we don't have any forks for the pasta salad that we brought. So we're kind of um, a figure way around that. But that's less of a problem really at the minute. So we'll see where we get to and update you then. Okay, quick update. And we are pretty well stuck in traffic now, trying to get to, uh, well, we're just coming onto the M5. And as you can see, this is why we don't have any point in having a massive bag of tools because of British motorways. There's nowhere to stop. If we're breaking down, we're stuck. So we're going to hope that isn't going to happen and we're going to hope that we're still comfortably in time for getting the MOT in and that as a large chain they aren't going to try and screw us over for <laughs> prices of stuff. So hopefully the next time will be us finding a new car and we will see you then. Pretty much to the minute, six hours after setting off with all the traffic and we're now driving up this road and somewhere here is going to be a little 1.1 GL Peugeot 205 in white and we are now just going to have to start looking. There it is, look at that, there it is, flipping heck, okay, <laughs> let's pull up and uh, I don't know what else we can do really, we just pull up here and... Uh... Right. We now own uh, a Peugeot 205, and it is at, unfortunately a large chain of uh, um, garages, and we're kind of assuming they're not going to be very favourable to the older car. It's got a couple of things. It might be something stupid like the wipers that fail it, or it could be something massive, but hopefully not. It all feels pretty good, to be honest. It's just, it just hasn't been used for a while, so the brakes are a bit, uh, a bit slow. This is not good. Katie's just been looking at what could possibly go wrong and uh, that sort of thing. We're not really that. We're doing this all legally, so we're okay. Um, we're just hoping that we can uh, take a car away or else we're going to have to come up with a major plan B. So for the meantime, we're going to go and get a, a drink and sit down and not think about it for an hour and then ring them. <laughs> things of all the things it could possibly fail on it's the emissions and we were pretty confident on that one to be honest with you but uh, that would be that would be okay but we're not we're not good um, and we haven't got a choice in this one really we, we 
can't, like even if we stay till Monday, stuff that could be fixed that we know could be fixed fine if we have to somehow stay a couple of days. But this isn't one of them because we've got absolutely no idea what it is. Um, and quite possibly the work that has been done that's maybe not been done to the standard. If he's broken the new CV boots and <laughs> things that he's put on, it's not super. But he's a very nice guy who has agreed that this isn't worked out <laughs> effectively. So, car is going back. There's nothing we can do. Uh, we have spent some nice time in lovely Bristol, which you can see up on the hill. Very pretty. Um, and some time with Jeff, briefly. It was a very nice car. And I really hope, with an MOT, it can be sold to someone who will look after him. But it's not going to be us today, unfortunately. So, our mission will have to continue. <laughs> done we've left Bristol on our 300 mile journey home slightly disappointed it was a really nice car to drive and yeah a lot of people would say picking a, a garage like that they're not really gonna get it through which we knew and we did email the guy before but unfortunately he didn't remember his garage he normally uses or his dad's garage who's he mates with who might have helped a lot to get this sort of stuff sorted and it's more Sympathetic to all the cars, shall we say? So, um, there we go. We're just having to leave it. <laughs> Katie said to him that if he does get it MOT'd, we might still be interested. We'll see about that. Um, but when it comes down to it, two days, wait till Monday to find a garage if they didn't have parts or if it was that bad, which I mean, the emissions were way off, so we wouldn't know if it would even be done but it, it was a really nice car. It was actually really nice, that three and a half hours of ownership. Um, but, you know, at the same time, we'd probably be far, I'm just stressed out if we thought about driving at home 300 miles to a booked in MOT appointment to get it done at our end, because I think that would take quite a lot of explaining to the police. So we're not going with that option either. We will continue our search. We may end up with Jeff in the future. Maybe not, but I reckon it's so nice that someone is going to pick that car up when it's got an MOT. So, kind of failed, but we've had a day out, so that's what it's about. We've done more than enough of these to know that's what it's about. So, there we go. That is the summary of the Bristol Jeff adventure. And maybe some other time we will try again. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, update on the lack of forks for pasta salad situation. I managed to steal a load of the uh, sugar stirring sticks for your coffee, so we now have improvised chopsticks with which to eat the pasta. <laughs>